Good morning and welcome to the Sunday Polity. The ever capable Steve Richards, Julia Hartley Brewer and Tim Marshall. They'll be sharing their thoughts on Twitter and you can join in using the hashtag BBCS. Thank you very much. Well, that's his analysis of the polls so far. Let's look at the uh, implications with our panel. Um, Steve Richards, Julia alludes to that point that if you make it all about leadership, if you make it all about being strong and stable, and then you do something like a massive, unprecedented U-turn on a key policy like social care... For a leader's spell to be broken during an election camp... ..hasn't been much campaigning. In fact, there was local campaigning was resumed, I think, on Thursday, and national campaigning then on Friday. So do you think, Tim Marshall, that the polls in some way are already reflecting... It's been a lot about public services, hasn't it? And it, and it does always come down to, yes, yeah, bread and butter issues, doesn't it? And again, I, I, I agree with you. We, I don't think we've quite seen how the terror issue has played out because, to a certain extent, you know, we've had the Westminster attack only a couple of months ago. For... And my panel, of course, are here with me. Tim Marshall, it's going to be very much centre and front stage now, uh, certainly for the next few days, with this issue of extremism. Has the conversation about it by politicians <laughs> and by the media? Steve? Yeah, but you see, you highlight the problem of this being part of the election campaign when you say it transcends those political divide. I think for an awful lot of voters, including me, I want to hear from party uh, leaders and the uh, Home Secretary, Shadow Home Secretary, the scale of the problem. Does Labour have a point when it talks about terrorism legislation? In, in some cases, but not always, there's a sort of civil liberties argument, which I personally uh, have terrorism, British foreign policy, but it helped to facilitate I suppose if you follow that through the economy, which is what you were talking about, will that be more comfortable ground for her? I think so, and I understand framing it in um, fronting the real issue, and I don't think people do. Nevertheless, we've got a 65 million tr uh, vote. Morning. Well, I imagine they will look very closely at where they are going to do, but this is a very unpredictable campaign where nothing has gone according to plan. Right, well, let's um, look ahead, because on Wednesday evening we've got one of the BBC's election... Well, let's get away from hairstyles uh, momentarily. <laughs> not. Um, but no, no, let's. Um, and talk about the prospect of perhaps the two of them taking part in that election debate. Would you like to see that? Uh, Suggest. By the way, I did have an afro. I based my <laughs> whole look on I want to see Kevin the pictures. Keegan, <laughs> and, uh, and it was good. Um, well, it's he, not he, bad, he, but I think McDonnell is a very good performer. And it would come back um, to the economy, presumably, yeah. um, at and, some part. And I mean, so, think but, be, but then I it comes back to the IRA. And... Right, well, that'll take us slightly away from some of the other issues we've been talking about. Let's not, fin let's not finish <laughs> on, on the hair, though. But thank you very much for being our guest. <laughs>